Good morning. This is the ramblings of an undisciplined mind podcast for Friday, November 20th, 2015. So I'm working from home today. So no Starbucks. I miss that. Even though it's Friday. But no Starbucks. I really, uh, I really should have thought to pick some up on Thursday. But I didn't. I work from home today. I think I said that. Did I say that? I said that. So today I thought I'd talk about, I've been listening to a, to a couple new podcasts, new-ish podcasts, new to me. Uh, I thought I'd talk about one of them today. There's, um, yeah, I, I'd heard about this podcast, it's called the Roundtable Podcast, but I really didn't get introduced to the, to the you know, to the people involved with it until there's this, I got into this this Facebook group. It's called Rota Naraimo. It's a play on NaNoWriMo and it's short for Round Table Novel Writing Month. With the thought process being you should it should always be a novel writing month. You know, the wife was on there and there were some fun things that were happening on there, so I joined. It's a closed group just to kind of keep you know obvious spammers and bots and crap out. I don't think there's super stringent um, criteria to get in other than, you know, don't be a jerk. But I I got on the group. And and to be honest with you, I felt like an imposter when I got on. I probably got on it earlier this year, like around the first of the year. I could have looked. I didn't. Actually meant to. Forgot. Because I wasn't writing. And I hadn't been writing for a long time. And I wasn't, you know, I, at the time I thought, I'm not going to be writing for, you know, a year, year and a half before I can really sit down and do any writing that is, you know, creative writing and not me just making up BS that sounds good for a paper for class. So I, I did feel like an imposter, but I got on there and there's been some cool stuff. And, and then as NaNoWriMo was approaching, I uh, fell into, you know, looking for writing podcasts to kind of get revved up for the creative writing uh, fest that November is when you're doing NaNoWriMo. And there was a couple that I picked up, and I'll discuss those later. And one of the ones I decided to try, I was like, well, yeah, I'm on the Roundtable page. I, I should try the Roundtable podcast. And it's a it's a unique it's a unique podcast. I don't you know, there's probably other ones that may be doing similar things, but I, you know this is the first one like it I've found. Um, it, it basically has a two part formula. So they invite an author on. Uh, they've had um, I haven't been I haven't gone too deep into the back issues. Um, one one that was one episode that was fairly recent was with Gail Carriger, uh, and I've read several of her books. And they basically have have these geth get geth authors. My list came back. Guest guest authors uh, come on, and they have them do two shows. And I don't know if they tape them at the same time or what, but they, they release them as two shows. The first of these is called Twenty Minutes With, and. It's, it's what it sounds like. It's a 20-minute it's a, a conversation with that author. Now, the host of the show, I almost got talking about the format and didn't talk, talk about um, the host, is this guy named Dave Ro- uh, Robison, R-O-B-I-S-O-N, Robison. So it's not Robertson, it's Robertson. Um, I think I'm saying that right. I know I got the spelling right. And, and then he always has a, a guest host come on. Who might be someone like, uh, there's this lady named Lauren Scribe Harris that is on frequently. Uh, Mike Luoma from um, Vatican Assassin fame uh, was on a recent couple of episodes that I listened to as the uh, co-host. And so for the 20-minute episodes, they start off with, and and he he calls it his freaker freakishly stalkerish intro 
where he apparently calls from other interviews, from articles about basically kind of their life story. And it is freakishly stalkerish. I mean, the, the details he gets, and they don't seem to come from the author. Uh, there was, I think it was when he was doing Gail Carriger. I really, when he got done, I really expected her to say, have you been talking to my mother? Because there were all these details about his, about our childhood and stuff that I was just like, how the heck does he know that? So they do that. And then they, and then it is just an interview and they, and they, they try to time it to 20 minutes. So it's not, you know, a three hour extravaganza. Uh, and they interview her and talk about her work and her writing process and, you know, things that that relate to the craft of writing the life of a professional writer things of that nature and then a week later they have a brainstorming episode so you've got you still have dave you still have um whoever the guest host is co-host is so it'd be like you know lauren or, or or mike or whatever and then you've got the the these i guess he calls them the guest hosts which would be like gail Carriger. And they bring a, a, an aspiring author on who's got a, a story idea. I'm going to have to say probably novel length based on the ones I've listened to. These seem to be novel length works. And they workshop it together. They brainstorm on it. Now, it's, it's a fun process. You know, Dave, I mean, somebody at some point found Dave's enthusiasm meter and you know, knock the knob off and got a pair of pliers and force that sucker to like 12. Because, <laughs> you know, if you look up, if you look up enthusiasm in the dictionary, you should see Dave's face, you know, as a picture on the page, not as a hallucination. That would be weird. You know, so he, he does make it fun. He gets, he really gets into the story that they're discussing. And the other two hosts get into it as well. But, you know, Dave is, is he's, like I say, he's always on 12 when it comes to enthusiasm. Uh, which was actually, it took me a little bit to get used to. But I, you know, I'm just kind of accepting it, you know, as it's just, it's just him. Uh, he's got a great voice. He's got a real voice for radio. It's got a nice bass quality, and he, he's, he's so he's, he is easy to listen to. And uh, so then they spend, they give the, the the writer, you know, five to eight minutes to talk about um, the proposed story. So what's the world? Who are the characters? What drives them? Um, you know, what is it? What is it that they're supposed to be? What is their goals? You know, things like that. And then, what's the story? You know, define, you know, what's the, what's the, what are the conflicts in the story? Where is it starting? Uh, where is it ending? How does the, you know, political system of the world that we're dealing with affect the characters? How do interpersonal relationships affect the characters? And they just kind of go through it. And they don't necessarily have to have all of that nailed down. And they just kind of go around the round table, that's, you know, and, 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 and workshop a little bit and brainstorm and say, well, this works, but this is kind of work. Maybe if we did this and it's been everything from, you know, uh, you know, tightening up the political system, clarifying different hierarchical, hierarchical structures. I cannot say that word. Um, there was one episode I listened to where they're like, you know what, you really need to gender swap that character because it'll give you a nice contrast against this other character. And, you know, so, you know, anything's on the table as far as, and, and then the author can can take this this 45 minutes of, of discussion and apply it to his story as he, see fit, as he sees, he or she sees fit. And it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting to listen to for, as from a writing perspective and seeing how, you know, the elements that they talk about. And, and so, of course, you know, having an actual uh, professional writer there 
uh, can really bring up some interesting things. And then after you've written the book, if you podcast it, if you put it on your blog, if you sell it, um, then he invites the author to come back and they will be knighted, they will become a knight of the round table. You know, get into the real Arthurian kind of feel. They're Arthurian? Yeah, King Arthur? Yeah, that's what I was going for. I don't know if that's the right word. Kind of, kind of feel there. So it, it's fun to listen to. The, you know, the um, 20 Minutes With episodes have usually been about half an hour. And the round table episodes seem to fall somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour. And, but I, I, I'm finding them um, engaging to listen to. There's some good material in there. And so I'm enjoying that a lot. So that's one of my new podcasts, one of my new writing podcasts. I've got, I've got three or four. And I've got um, another podcast that I should have talked about months ago and never did. So I'll, I'll probably start, probably start uh, sprinkling these in here. I'm not going to talk about them all boom, 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 boom in a row because I don't want, want you to be going, I'm so tired of hearing podcasts. Talk about other boring crap that you talk about. So I'll talk about some other boring crap tomorrow. So you won't be you won't be glazed eyed by the monotony of my boring crap. But uh, yeah, my errands here are are about done. So uh, I think the podcast is as well. Tomorrow's Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. I got to think about my Saturday here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try my darndest to put out an episode. Uh, I won't totally guarantee it. I got a number of things that I'm supposed to be doing tomorrow, but uh, number one being going to see Mockingjay Part 2, which I am looking forward to. I just reread the book, so I will do my darndest to get, a, to get a, a, an episode out. But that means this episode is done, so uh, I'll be talking to you the next time I talk to you, and until then, be seeing you.